Hi Cancer, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly reading for July 2nd through the 8th. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus as my readings are typically love readings. So this is for the sign of Cancer. Keep in mind that this reading may not resonate with you. This is a general reading, so it's going to be for somebody, but not everybody, okay? reversed yikes there's trickery deception you could be dealing with a very crafty individual manipulation lack of awareness Ooh, well with the ace of wands the queen of cups you and the page of cups reversed you're dealing with somebody who's emotionally unavailable and they may be pretending that they are okay they're mirroring each other Somebody is pretending that they are emotionally available or that this is love when it really isn't. Maybe it's just passion. Maybe it's just sex. I mean, I have to tell you what I see because somebody isn't telling the truth here and it is in regards to feelings. They aren't saying the truth, whoever that is. Okay. Oh, this is you feeling it. You feel it. Your intuition is telling you what this is. You know what it is. For some of you, there could be a new beginning here. I have to throw that out there with that Ace of Wands. There could be something that's very passionate and fertile. Woo! So it looks pretty good, huh? I mean, yeah, you're dealing with some crafty craftiness. Somebody's not telling the truth. But there is an opportunity for love here, okay? So, but somebody's on thin ice. They haven't learned a lesson. Somebody hasn't learned a lesson yet. There's a feeling of being incomplete. Some cycle is not complete. Somebody has to make a decision. Do I stay or go? What am I going to do? What am I going to do? You're at a crossroads. That There's like a doors. There's two doors in front of you. You can only go through one of them. Oh. One of them's not solid. One of these one of these paths that are in front of you doesn't lead to anything solid. One of them is just, uh, I have to throw this out there, and I know that some of you aren't going to like it. One of them is just sexual. It doesn't lead to anything solid. Okay. Yeah, there's passion. There is, but there's nothing solid in that passion. It's very insecure, and you're going to get left out in the cold by that situation, whatever it is. So let me just get this zoomed in. You know, this is this this is how other people see you. So this is a lover's card. This is a, about a choice that you have to make. So perhaps you do have to make a choice in regards to love. Maybe you have a choice between two two people, which I think that is the case. Two paths, whether it's two people or or um, freeing yourself from one situation so that a new lover can come in. I feel as though you do have to make a decision in regards in regards to some sort of union, whether to stay or go. I mean, it's, it's pretty evident. One situation is, is purely sexual. It doesn't lead to any, anything solid. So it's up to you to use your intuition to figure out which situation that is. Your challenge is the world reversed. That is um, learning a lesson that you might not want to learn because the world card is a lesson that has been learned when it's upright and you can consider that a success somebody doesn't want to learn a lesson and it could have to do with codependency you know it just could i just feel as though you know are you choosing a partner for the right reasons are you choosing for because it's passionate because there's a lot of sexual attraction or are you choosing be choosing a partner because it's it's solid are you really thinking about this you know, you really do have to make a difficult decision here. And you may be staying in a situation that is safe but unfulfilling, okay? There is an opportunity for a new partnership here that, you know, does promise growth. But you have to leave something behind first, something that's not solid, something that 
is making you feel empty inside. It's like a feeling of emptiness here, but you have to leave that behind. So I do believe that you have two paths in front of you, uh, Cancer. What are you going to choose? What are you going to choose? Wherever, wherever you're at in one situation, there is no stability. And you're sacrificing yourself needlessly, you know, for this situation. And the reason that you're sacrificing yourself is because you don't want to upset anybody. Yeah, I don't want no, I don't want to upset anybody. But and if you self-love may include upsetting somebody. You may have to upset somebody. I'm sorry, but if you're feeling unloved or you're not getting what you want in a relationship, then sometimes you have to take the step that isn't does, that doesn't feel so safe. I mean, this could be self-manipulation as well or self-deceit, self-sabotage, okay? It could be somebody you're dealing with as well. However, and this is Gemini, this is Gemini. So I'm not sure if any of you are dealing with a Gemini. Could be dealing with any sign. We have Scorpio here. We have another water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I do feel as though you have to follow your int intuition at this time. There is a feeling of emptiness on the inside. And your advice is to probably go, go through the new door. Okay? Go through that new door. You do have to make a decision. Um, I feel as though... Yeah, you don't know whether to stay or go in a situation. That's what's going on with that lover's card. There's a new opportunity that is being presented to you that it could just be seduction because that lover's card can signify seduction. It can. Whew. Uh, you could be dealing with a fire sign as well, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but there's a lack of confidence. There's a lack of courage, a lack of strength. Um... You're involved in one situation where there is no passion, and that is evident. It's evident. But now you're being you're being presented with a new opportunity that has a lot of passion. So you have to make a decision. That's the that's the damn truth here. Um, there's a feeling of emptiness. Somebody is absolutely feeling empty on the inside, wherever they're at. It's not fulfilling. Um, and you. Yeah, it's painful. It's stressful. It hurts. It hurts. But you have to accept the truth. Somebody's ignoring the truth about how they really feel or how somebody feels towards them. It can go both ways. Somebody is absolutely in denial and it is connected to you. Somebody's feeling empty on the inside, emotionally discontent. This doesn't feel solid anymore, but I don't want to upset anybody, even though I know that we are on thin ice. And when you feel this empty inside, that's when your eyes start to wander. And that's sometimes when you're feeling this empty, that's when the universe, which is the world, the world is the universe card, even though it's reversed, will throw in this obstacle to open your eyes to wake you up. They will throw you this new passionate opportunity to wake you up, to make you take action. So... So the tower is a universe card. You you fear. You have some fear here. We have two universe cards, okay, that are both reversed, and you're stalling because you you don't want to suffer. You don't want anybody else to suffer. But there's a lack of happiness in a in a relationship. It's like there's no wherever somebody. This is for somebody. There's no more growth in in a certain situation. So you have to move forward. You do. Somebody is emotionally unavailable. I don't know if it's you or the other person. If somebody's been in denial, somebody has been in denial, and it's time to start the healing process. It's time to start that healing process. You know, this could be a third-party situation. You need, and I believe it is because you have two paths. Okay, there's you and there's two other paths. Which way are you going to go? You know, in one situation, somebody's not putting in effort. Somebody's not being appreciated. Somebody isn't even working as a team with you you know there's like no a lack of teamwork here so somebody i think is is either thinking about getting out of the relationship or looking outside the relationship for support there's definitely back and forth energy here you know temperamental up and down up and down there's lack of harmony and balance so what do you do you start looking elsewhere even but you don't make a move because you don't want to hurt anybody um, but wish fulfillment lies on the other side. There, there, this is a time of hope. It is a time of inspiration. Maybe this isn't working out for a reason. There is a reason why things don't come out. The temperance card is also a card of purpose. 
it is reversed it's like somebody isn't seeing the reason why this is happening there's a reason why things aren't working out trust me there is because there's a new opportunity that does promise a lot of growth but if you if you sabotage yourself and you don't find the resources within you to take action that's when you continue to suffer somebody needs to take a time out back up think about this for a second and like I started this out think about this is this about love or is this about something that's solid I mean what do you want do you want a relationship that has growth or or do you want something that has no passion something that isn't really working out you somebody has to become aware of what they really want they need to take a time out and figure out what is going to fulfill their heart what is going to make them feel loved because right now there's there's a lack of feeling loved here and therefore somebody is like you know I'm not sure I'm not sure what I want to do I have these uh, two options to stay or go or whatever but I don't want to hurt anybody in the process even though I'm hurting I think you guys are sabotaging yourselves by carrying all this hurt you guys are carrying the hurt now you could be dealing with any sign any sign at all okay I feel as though you do definitely need to take a time out and a, a, you know a period of solitude to figure out what you want in your future. I mean, where do you want to be in the next three years? Do you want to be in this situation still? Do you expect that the other person's going to change? I mean, what is this story? But it doesn't really matter. But the fact of the matter is, is, is you have an opportunity to go down a new path at this time if you could not let your own insecurities and your own fears and your own worries about what everybody else thinks hold you back, okay? Um, yes, somebody is, is, is needs to let go of the past. They need to let go of an idea. This is the death of an idea, okay? It's a death of an idea that comes through rest and contemplation, and this is rest and contemplation as well. You go in that period of solitude, and you realize that something is over. This is like a death card. It is. In the other decks, it really is. Okay? It's where something, an idea that you thought was going to lead to wish fulfillment didn't. And now you need to let it go because it doesn't bring balance and harmony to your life. And it's like it's stealing your energy. Your energy is being drained by a situation that is no longer fulfilling. I'm not sure what this is. Um, yeah, there's a suitor that's better suited for you waiting for you. And it's exciting. So I believe that you have an exciting new opportunity waiting for you that with somebody that is very much your type, okay? This person um, can bring a lot of ex excitement into your life, a lot of passion, new opportunities. You may be, you may be thinking about this person a lot, and, and when you do come across this person, it's like it's just an overwhelming feeling of excitement. So I think that you guys are stuck in a dead-end situation in which you want to get out of, but you are not doing it because you, you have to master your emotions to, to get, get out of it. You need to put yourself in the driver's seat. You need to take the lead in your own life, and you need to find that force within you to move on. There's an opportunity for victory and success if you can get in the driver's seat. You have to take the lead, Cancer. You have to take the lead. Master your emotion and head in the direction that excites you. Your, your energy is being drained by a situation you're dealing with somebody or you're, somebody is lying here. Somebody is lying. Whether it's you or this, you could be lying to yourself or you could be dealing with somebody who's lying. They're untrustworthy and they're stealing your energy. They're stealing your happiness. And you need to master your emotions. I'm telling you what. You need to master your emotions and follow your heart. That's my advice for you, Cancer. Follow your heart. We're going to get you two of these. What would you like cancer to know from the angels what does cancer need to know about this situation Ooh, calling in your soulmate your prayers affirmations and visualizations help you bring you together even if you've been doing this subconsciously if you're involved in a situation that is less than fulfilling and it's and it's killing you on the inside you are calling in your soulmate 
You really are. This can work in so many different ways. Your soulmate can feel you. Like I said, you have somebody that's better suited for you. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. You have, you have somebody that's better suited for you. It's very, very exciting. Now, some of you are, are stuck in a situation that is, it's like it's a dead end. There's no emotional fulfillment here, and therefore, but, you are, but you're staying there for some who knows what reason. All the while, wanting love, wanting somebody to come rescue you, you have to rescue yourself. You have to take the lead. You have to be the boss of your own life. Once you master your emotions and you stop sacrificing yourself needlessly, and there is a life lesson to be learned here with that world card. The lesson is you being able to take the lead to find your happiness, to find that soulmate. You have to do it. Don't expect somebody to come in here and rescue you. You rescue you, and then this person will be here. Talk to you later.